Elson's test is a good clinical sign to look for central slip disruption. The finger can be extended with two mechanisms. The first is the central slip, which inserts into the base of the middle phalanx. The second is the lateral bands, which go volar to the PIP joint, come together and insert into the base of the distal phalanx. If a patient with a suspected central slip rupture is asked to extend their finger against resistance, there may be some weakness. If the central slip is intact, the patient will be able to extend against resistance and the DIP joint will remain floppy because the lateral bands have not needed to be recruited because the central slip is intact. If, however, the central slip has ruptured and has retracted and can no longer extend the PIP joint, the patient still can extend the finger by recruiting the lateral bands. In this case, the patient is asked to extend the PIP joint against resistance, the lateral bands are recruited and the DIP joint now becomes taut and almost hyperextendable. That's Elson's test.